guys, I wanted to make this video to review how to make a line plot. I know you learned this last year, but we're going to be doing some more complicated line plots and describing the data using um, some more difficult terms. So I just want to make sure that you are experts at making the line plot first. So I asked a bunch of kids, how many books did you read during the summer? And these are the answers I got from my survey. My survey was when I asked the question. So the first thing I like to do is I like to put the numbers in order. It just keeps me in track. I start with the smallest and then I move to the largest. So I've got a zero, I've got a one, then I've got a two, then I got another two, so I'm gonna write that again. And then I got another two, Looks like a lot of kids read two books during the summer. Oh, look at that. I missed a number one. That's okay. I can go ahead. I can move my zero down. And I can put in another number one here. That's why I always like to put them in order so I can tell if I'm missing one. And when I'm crossing them off, then I can tell if I have all the correct numbers. So then I've got a three. Any other threes? Nope. Okay, there's a four, put a four. Okay, I see a five. And then I see another five. And I see a six. And then I gotta cross that one off, and then an eight. Okay, so let me just check to make sure I have the same amount of numbers here as I do down below. That way I'll know that if I'm missing any. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let me make sure I have 12 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, great. So I have 12 both times. So I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to start on the bottom with my smallest number, which is 0. And I'm going to go all the way up, all the numbers from 0 up to 8. I'm not going to skip any numbers because they're going to be blank spaces on the line plot. So I've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have all the numbers from 0 to 8. It doesn't matter that I don't have any 7s here. I'm still leaving a 7 there because it goes with the line plot with the range. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my creative pen so I can get a smiley face. Oh, I think I'm going to use a star. So I'm going to look at this zero and I'm going to put one mark over top. Then I know that I've used the zero, so I'm going to cross that off. Then I have one, two ones, one, two, so I've used those. Now, number two, I have one, two, three. One, two, three. So I'm showing that I have three, three number twos. Okay, I've got one number three. I've crossed it off. I've got one number four. Cross it off. Number five, one, two fives. Then I've got a six. I've got no seven, so I'm going to leave that blank. And then I have one eight. And that's how you make a line plot. So here's your practice problem. I asked people how many pets that they have, and these are the answers that I got. Instead of putting your answers on the Google form tonight, I want you to uh, make the line plot on a piece of paper. You can go ahead and answer the questions that go along with the vocabulary on the Google form, but the actual practice problem needs to be turned in on a piece of paper. So fill out the Google form about the vocabulary and the connections that you're making to what you're working on but the actual line plot needs to be on a piece of paper. Good luck, rewind the video, stop it, pause it, watch what I do so that you can make it your own line plot. Have a great night.